because effect. Today we're talking about cause and effect. A cause is what makes something happen. An effect is what happens. This person using the pool stick to hit this ball is the cause, and the effect is the ball moving. In fact, the cue ball gets pushed by the pool stick into another ball, causing that ball to move, and maybe even hitting and moving more balls. It's what's known as a chain reaction. In nature, an avalanche is the chain reaction of a snowpack on the side of a mountain being disturbed. Understanding cause and effect helps us to explain things happening in our world. Sometimes it can be simple. Like if I flip this switch, then the lights will go on. Me flipping the switch is the cause, and the effect is the light turning on. This is what we call a root cause. We are able to identify the singular reason the lights turned on. But sometimes there can be multiple causes. Let's look at little Jesse here. Jesse caught a cold, but we don't know what caused them to catch it. Did they breathe in infected droplets in the air? <coughs> Was it because Jesse touched something that had germs on it and they didn't wash their hands? Or maybe they got it from sharing their drink with a friend. <coughs> there are a lot of things that could have caused Jesse to get sick. Sometimes you can identify them and sometimes you can't. You can see the cause and effect relationship in nature as well. The heat from the sun causes this icicle to melt. The water droplets land on the ground where it's soaked up by the soil and enters what is called groundwater. Then plants can absorb that water. We talk more about this in our energy and matter video. Understanding cause and effect helps us to know why things happened the way they did or didn't. Being able to recognize the reason why something occurs can help us to control the outcome or the effect. It helps us to identify patterns, which can then help us to make predictions and plan for events, changes, and to improve our design. I hope this video had a good effect on you. We usually end these videos by talking about how these scientific principles are applied by people working at the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power. But for cause and effect, we want to talk about how you can use this principle, or rather not use it. I'm talking about Mylar Balloons. What's that you say? It's just the balloon? What harm could it do? Well, see for yourself. And when that happens, these folks have to go to work. Now, they love their job, but they have plenty to do already, keeping our power grid running. So even though they're pretty and shiny, maybe you can skip the Mylar balloons for your next celebration. But if not, please hold on tight. And if you like being up in the sky, maybe you'd be a good LADWP line worker. The view from the office is incredible. Learn more at ladwp.com forward slash careers.